Welcome to episode 172 of the Rated Control Show, sponsored by AmyandHobbies.com, your one-stop RC hobby store. When you hear the name Lockheed Martin, you know you're talking about serious aircraft development. But what about the miniature quadcopter industry? This new recon quad can go from box to flight in just a few minutes, has a flight duration of 40 minutes, and requires no previous RC experience to fly. Thanks to Nick Gilbert for the story and Lockheed Martin for the video. This is the Perseris VTOL. Um, it's a quad rotor, uh, vertical takeoff and landing platform. It's capable of flying for more than 40 minutes. Its primary role is reconnaissance, whether it be for search and rescue missions or any Department of Defense activity. The operator uses this uh, hand controller uh, to pilot the vehicle. There's no RC experience required. Someone off the street with a few hours of training can be very comfortable at piloting this vehicle. It's very man packable. It folds up into a very small little box and it can be deployed in a matter of minutes to enable the user to get an aerial perspective of what's going on around him. And now for some trackside RC action. Well, sort of. This Mini Mini Cooper was at the London Olympics doing some odd jobs, like picking up javelins, hammers, and discuses strewn about after track and field events. Check it out. Now this is the London 2012 Mini Cooper, the most recent remote control vehicle for retrieving implements and returning them to the athletes. Similar methods have been employed over the past 20 years at major championships and invitationals. A bit of fun on the infield. All right, this is Danny Adams with Proline Racing. We're here at the 2012 Electric Off-Road Nationals here at West Coast. And uh, we've got a few new tires that we want to share with you guys. Uh, this is the new Ion tire. Um, as you can see, it's kind of an indoor uh, clay tread design. Uh, this is in the MC compound. And uh, totally new design for us, and it's working really well. And uh, we'll be running these later on in the week in the short course and the uh, eight-scale program. And as you can see, this is the uh, eight scale version here, a little bit bigger pin than the short course uh, for added longevity. And uh, again, you know, the guys have had a lot of success with it, testing it, and uh, we're looking forward to seeing the results this weekend. So uh, that's about it from the Nationals, and uh, this is Daniel Adams signing out. The popular XFC Extreme Flight Championships was recently held at the AMA Flight Facility in Muncie, Indiana. And for aerobatic helicopters, this is the place to be for 3D over-the-top action and excitement. Nick Maxwell took this year's top spot. Our thanks go to SKS Video Production for supplying the footage. Hey, my name is Nick Maxwell. I'm from Fort Wayne, Indiana. Uh, I think this is my eighth XFC. And uh, this year, flying the Raptor G4. Uh, it's the E720 version, so it's electric. Uh, it's got a Scorpion 4525 520KV motor in it. Thunder Power 12S batteries, 5,000 milliamps. Uh, the new V-Blades, uh, Fataba servos, uh, the new S-Bus, I uh, think got all the new features, and uh, high voltage tail servo as well. question comes from Jacob Graham in Goldberg, Australia. He writes, hey guys, I'm about to get a new RC car truck. Which one do you recommend? Hey Jacob, it all sort of depends on what you want to do and if you've ever done RC before. If you're like me and you like off-road, maybe a short course truck is the right choice. There's tons to choose from and it's definitely the fastest growing class. If you want to run around your backyard, maybe a monster truck's better. The best place to start is at your local hobby shop. Talk to them and see what they suggest too. A Main Hobbies, the biggest selection of remote control cars, trucks, planes, and helicopters.
want parts and accessories? A-Main Hobbies has what you need. Visit us at amainhobbies.com or call 800-705-2215. it all at A-Main Hobbies. Leave your competition in the dirt. On newsstands now, be sure to check out our November issue of Electric Flight, jam-packed with the latest in electric-powered planes and gear. The November issue features an exclusive review of the exciting Habu 2 electric ducted fan jet from Horizon Hobby, the first-person view Skyhawk from Hobby People, and the amphibious Icon A5 from Park Zone. Get it now on airagedoor.com or at your local newsstand. Hey, I'm Julie, and here's this week's social media update. Post your best RC Summer video on our Facebook page for a chance to win an Axial EXO Terra buggy. Whether it's driving in the desert or racing on the beach, just click on the Win an EXO photo on the RC Car Action Facebook page to enter. The contest ends on September 5th, so grab your car and your camera and start filming. We recently caught up with RC legend Bob Novak about his involvement in the hobby and how he got started in it. Let's go trackside and see what he had to say. A lot of people have asked me how I got into this industry and it all started back when I was around five years old. I started building model airplanes, rubber band powered airplanes. Continued doing that through high school and in 1957 flew my very first RC airplane. So I went to college and became, a, I graduated as an electronics engineer and uh, sent my resumes out to all the existing RC manufacturers in this country and literally none of them answered my uh, hopes of going to work for them so I had to get a real job. And at that job I happened to be working for a company that made the quartz crystals for all the RC manufacturers. So one day one of the guys came by on their way to the Toledo show in uh, Toledo, Ohio, which is a big trade show that's still in existence today and they stopped by our plant and they had a problem with some of their crystals so my boss told me to solve their problem and I did that and the company happened to be microavionics and the gentleman of that company was the guy that invented the digital pulse radio systems that we all use today. He hired me and moved me from Illinois to California and that's when I first started working in the RC industry. I worked for that company for three years until it got bought out and I was laid off and I decided to start my own company. In 1978 we started Novak Electronics in my garage. I was the sole owner and employee. Head to your local hobby shop or newsstand for the October issues of Radio Control Car Action and Model Airplane News. Or get it now on AirAidStore.com, iTunes, or BarnesandNoble.com. Thanks again for joining us on the Radio Control Show, and we'll see you next time. Sponsored by AmainHobbies.com, your one-stop RC hobby store.